If one stands up, it's another one has to stand up. Can you sit down, lad? Can you go on the seat? Good afternoon, and welcome here to Dublin Park Panels Law for the All Ireland Vocational Schools Junior Football Final between David College, Castle Bar, and St. Cruz College from Lister Ski and County for Mala. Referee out there in the centre of the field, Michael Gibbons with the two captains. We'll give you the line outs of the teams. First of all, David College, Castle Bar, in goals, Dickton Gannon. Full back line, Barry Jordan, Kevin Ansborough, and Frank Scully. Half back line, Melvin Marley. Carol Jennings and Michael Bodge. Centre field is Sean Riley and Harry Flynn. Half forward line, Gary Dillon, Martin McNicholas and Jarrett McHale. And the full forward line, Alan Dillon, Ray Welch and Matthew Conroy. St. Cole's from Mr. Ski, line out in goals, Carrie Wilson. Full back line, Kevin O'Rourke, Brendan Fitzpatrick and Damien Campbell. Half back line, Stephen Maguire, Darren Collins and Martin Riley, wearing number 17. At centre field we have Mark Porter and Carol Bradshaw. Half forward line, Brendan McBride, Kevin Maguire and Adrian Little. And the full forward line, Nile Rice, Stephen Smith and Darren Maguire. Referee is Michael Gibbons from Galway. He's out there in the centre of the field with Mark Porter, Carrie Bradshaw, Sir Sean Riley and Harry Flynn. Many of the start is junior final. The whistle that ran on this game is all the Ireland. Vocational junior vocational football. Straight away as a phrase the mayor of the inside it goes into the centre forward. The centre forward going through there is Martin McNicholas, he takes a shot, a high shot, but the ball goes to the left and goes wide. The first wide for David College in Castlebar. Nice day here in Dublin Park, a good crowd. This game will be followed by the senior final between Fermania College of Further Education and Rathmore Post Primary School from County Kerry. The kick out from Carrie Wilson of St. Coles. Harry Wenson drives it out about 50 yards. It's intercepted there again by the last count man, the last car, or the mayor man, the mayor number nine. He's going through. Harry Finn takes a shot in again. It's gone to the left and gone wide. Two wise in quick succession there from the men from Castlebar. Harry Wilson again taking the kick out from the edge of the small square. Comes Wilson's kick into the breeze, out again. It's punched down there again by Harry from the centre field man, but it's the corner back from Lister Ski who punches the ball over to the far side of the field, kicking out here past the centre of the field. Lister Ski about to launch an attack. It's caught inside, but it's broken up there by the wild mailman. The mailman can pass it into the number 10 is Gary Dillon. Gary Dillon down along the ground. Ball foul there, boot in, says referee Michael Gibbons, and he gives a free out to the list of speed and quickly take it up along towards the centre of the field breaks inside to the corner forward the corner forward is number 15 Darren Maguire Darren Maguire is fouled on the 50 metre line now it's a free for list of ski. out of the hand kicks it in towards the full forward hops inside the full forward still trying to get that ball and passes it across to the far side of the field trying to get that ball up this is the man from Castlebar but his shot is blocked into the hands of the number 15 the number 15 takes the shot and the first score of the game a point from Darren Maguire from Mr. Ski, the first score of the game. We have just over two minutes gone in the first half. They kick out from Castle Arm. Kicked out again, just out to the 50 metre line, grabbed there by the mayor man. He's trying to get through, it's Sean Riley. This when he kicks the ball straight into the list of ski man. This is ski man solo out, kicks the ball, shot blocked out. Going inside is Jared McHale. Jared McHale has the ball up in his hand, tries to get around his man. Still Jared McHale, kicks the ball inside into the corner foul. The corner foul is Matthew Conroy. Over there, but it's got over the line and it's the line ball for Lister Ski. A lively start to this all Ireland vocational schools. Football, semi, football final. Ball kicked out, grabbed there, sort of by Martin McDicklis, a big man from Brafey. This solo in, so he's still going to try to get so solo towards the centre. Still has the ball on the left foot, kicks it in low, and allow the goal. the full forward, the full forward gathers it, kicks it again, and it's fist the post and goes to the left and goes wide. Three attacks from Javid College Castle there, and three wides. early days yet, Carrie Wilson to take the kick out once again. And he 
breeze is here in Ballinus Lorna Day. It's favouring Castlebar at the moment. The ball drops out about 50 yards. Really free the there by Carol Bradshaw. Kicks it up towards the centre forward. The centre forward lets it drop. Breeze forward and it's a free. It's a free from Listerski. Ball kicked up again. Still Listerski on the attack. Kicking it over towards the side of the field. Here comes the man with the bandage on his lefty. Kicking the ball. Kicking the ball in towards the corner. Mark Potter up towards the corner, it's very near the sideline, kept in play there by the corner forward, hand pass inside to the number 10, trying to get through, he kicks the ball, and again it goes to the left, and goes by Brian McBrien, Fyndon McBrien from Newtown Butler, the ball goes to the left and goes wide once again. The referee gone in to speak to an umpire, he did the same at the other end just a few moments ago. The kick out being taken there by the this helicopters fly around us here in Banlaslow. Here comes the kick out from Castlebar. A lovely well fielded there by the man from Park out in the center of the field. Sean Riley kicking it inside, grabbed in there by Martin McNicholas. Martin McNicholas soaring, still going through, flying through the center. Martin McNicholas is being pulled in, tugged and foul, and it's a free and a free and foul Castle now. He's taking it himself, Martin McNicholas. Can this be the first score? Takes the shot and it's over the bar. A point from Martin McNicholas. And the scores are level at one point each. Five minutes gone in the first half. Here comes the kick out once again from Carl Wilson. He's been the busier of the two goalies in this first five minutes. Carl Wilson drops it out past the sit down near the centre of the field. Up they go for it, breaks loose. But it's cleared up the field there by the number eight back quarter. Going back from there is the Carl Jennings, the briefly man. Ball breaks loose out of the centre of the field. Castlebar about to break up the attack, the centre forward, Carl Jennings driving it down to the centre of the field. But it's the list of ski man, the list of ski man is Carol Bradshaw. Carol Bradshaw drops it up into the far corner, punched foul, the man foul there from Mr. Ski, and it's a free. Quickly taken inside to the corner forward. The corner forward is Darren Maguire, trying to get around his man. Kicks it across, Billy Billy to the side, Billy Backbine has the ball inside, takes the shot, and it's a ball from Billy Backbine and St. Paul's and Mr. Ski. Well walked up the field there, and a beautiful finish. By the number 10, and he stuck that ball in the back of the net. One goal and one pint for Lister School. One pint for Dammit College in Castlebar. Brendan McBrien finished that ball inside. The kick out again from Castlebar. Here he comes, kicking that ball out to, towards the centre of the field, straight down the middle, well fielded there by the Castle Bar man. A big man at the strikes it down in the car, hops in over their heads, it breaks inside again. The number 13 trying to get through, Alan Dillon, still Dillon trying to get through, but he's broken up there by Listerski, hand passed out, cool under pressure, driving the ball out towards the centre of the field. The Listerski man goes down over, but he's ducked away from him. Out of centre field is Sean Riley. Sean Riley hits that ball inside towards Martin McNicholas. Martin McNicholas takes a left footed shot and this time it goes to the right and goes wide. Lots of wides there from the men from Castlebar. The score at this stage stands at one goal and one pint. To list the ski and one pint for Castlebar as Carol Jennings, Carol Wilson comes again to take the kick out, dropping it out again around the centre of the field. But it's broken down there by Martin McNicholas, a strong player, McNicholas. So he tried to get his drum to take a left for the shot, but it's well blocked down by the list of ski man. Now going out to the far side of the field, kicking it down into the far corner. Calling out for there is the full forward. But he's beaten to there by Kevin Ansborough. Kevin Ansborough takes a right footed kick down towards the centre. Breaking the other centre field and it's cut by Kyle Bradshaw. Kyle Bradshaw drives it back into the corner again but it's got out over the line. Got out over the line and it's a line ball for Castlebar. About 50 yards, just outside the 50, 45 metre line. Everybody, 
kick from the hand, left footer down along the sideline, very near the sideline, kept in play, no, it's gone out of the line once again, Giles McHale made a brave attempt there to keep it in play, but it's kicked, referee points to something, taking a shot, man standing to near the ball, it's a free, out near the 60 metres out from the goal, kicked into the corner, but up the goal for the number seven there from Michael Walsh. Michael Walsh trying to break out, trying to kick it out left for the moment towards the far side of the field. Caught there by the centre forward, Kevin, Kevin Maguire, Kevin Maguire, solo into, kicks that ball really fully inside, but it breaks inside the goal, he's off his line, way out of his line, gets the ball, he's fouled as he comes out, still being fouled. Referee Michael Gibbons is in there having a word with one of the list of ski players, calling him over to one side, it's the man that scored the goal a few minutes ago, Brendan McBain, very rather harsh challenge there on the goalkeeper. Referee Michael Gibbons from Galway having the word with, with Brendan McBain. It's a free out for Cassidy Bar, Declan Gallon. He's going to take it himself from the hand, out comes Gallon, right for it, kick down to the 50 yard line, up they go for his breaks, loose a lot of bunching over there on the far side of the field. Lisnitsky man has the ball on the ground, hits it back out on the ground, but is Lisnitsky on the attack again? And it's a foul, the man, the number five there for Castlebar, Melvin Marley, he was fouled, he was a quickly taken free out to Sean Riley, the man from Park. Still trying to get through, but he's pushed on the back, foul again, just inside the 60 metre line, and it's another free for Castlebar. Free from Castlebar, about 60 yards out from the Mr. Ski goal, coming out to take it is Martin McNicholas. He's going to take it from the foot, left footed kick. With the breeze, kicks it again and gone to the, towards the left, gone out for looks like a 65. It's gone wild. Thought it might have slipped through one of the Mr. Ski men's hands there, but it's not. The Mr. Ski goalkeeper kicking that ball out again, out towards the 50 meter line. Up they go for it again. It's Mr. Ski breaking it across here to Brendan McBain. The man just got the goal. He's down on the ball. He has it. Kicks it fast inside into the corner. Foul very breaks behind. The full back coming out for it. Flicks it out. Out towards the side of the field. Going out for it here is the number 10 for Castlebar. Well gathered up there by Gary Dillon. Gary Dillon is fouled on the 60 metre line. Dillon is fouled. Kicks the ball quickly inside. Inside to the number 8. The number 8 is Sean Riley. Sean Riley. Tries to get the ball off the ground, straight up off the ground, right in front of the referee's eyes, and it's a free out again for Listerski. This game being played in a fairly hectic pace, driving the ball down towards the full forward, but it breaks from his hands. Harry Flynn, Harry Flynn's ball is knocked away from him, but he recovers, gets the ball again. Still Flynn, solo and kicks the ball right front and right across the front of the goal, and it hops over the forward's head, the number 15 there, went for it, Matthew Conroy, but it hopped all over his head and cut by the Listerski man, cleared out towards the 50 metre line. Well, it breaks loose out there, going across for it is Michael Welch. Michael Welch has the ball, he's on the ground, trying to get up, trying to get his shot in. His shot is half blocked down, cut out there by Giles McHale, crossed into the centre to Jennings. Jennings kicks the ball in towards the full forward, up it goes, up the goal for inside. Caught inside by the number 14, and the number 14 takes a shot. Ray Walsh, Sean Ray Walsh, sends the ball over the bar, a second point for Donald Farage and Castlebar. One goal and one to two points. We have just over 12 minutes gone in the first half of this All Ireland Vocational Schools football final between St. Cole's Vocational School in Leicester Ski and Devon College in Castlebar. Kick out again, kick out from Declan Gannon. Up again, out straight down the centre of the field. It's cut in there by the Harry Flynn, but it's broken up by the Leicester Ski man. Still Devon College trying to get that ball out. Carol Jennings on the ground is surrounded by three men, but he's eventually caught there by the list of ski man. This Kevin Maguire. Kevin Maguire hits that ball inside. While kicking in there, and the referee blows his whistle and gives a free to Castlebar. Quickly taken, quickly taken over across the side of the field. The Castlebar man looks up, but his pass is not very good. Pass caught there by the list of ski man. Spun around, but he gets his kick in. High ball in towards the fullback. Kevin Ansborough going for it. Kevin is beaten to there. But coming out is the corner forward Barry Jordan. Barry Jordan kicks the ball down to the centre of the field. Caught and delivered down there by Sean Riley. Sean Riley inside to the full forward. The full forward is Raywatch. Raywatch hand passes it inside to the centre forward Matt McNicholas. Here comes McNicholas. Solo into the centre. Right footed shot over the bow. All of a pine. What a work pine there from Ray Mac Martin McNicholas from Dammit College in Castlebar. That leaves just one pint between the teams. One goal and one pint for Lister Ski and three pints for Castlebar.
Kick out again from Carly Wilson. Wilson he kicks out, going straight down the centre of the field. This one breaks loose. Kevin Martin Beck Nichols again kicking the ball inside. Fisted out, comes out to the centre of the field, beaten away there by the centre of the field. Mr. Ski coming out of the defence, driving that ball out down the centre of the field. Up they go for it, it's broken down again, and here comes the full forward. The full forward is Stephen Smith. Out of the field, hits that ball inside, and towards the corner forward, the number 15, Maguire. Maguire is going through a left minute shot from Maguire, and it's over the bar. Well, point for Mr. Ski. One goal and two to three points. Kick out from Castlebar. Very low kick out, but it flies along the ground down, down past the centre of the field. That is cut there by the Mr. Scheme and driven right back in again. Up they go for the number four is Frank Scully, who's beaten to this side. Right across the face of the goal, out comes Dick Glengallan, the goalkeeper. Out to the side of the field, gets the ball and drives it down towards the side of the field. But well cut there by the Castlebar man out of the line and it's a line ball, Gary Dillon out of the line. Gary Dillon got out of the line, it's a line ball for Lisnesky. Quickly taken there by the number seven, D, the number seven is Martin Riley. There's the free out for Castlebar. Barry Jordan, Barry Jordan kicks that ball across the centre of the field, well read there by Riley, Sean Riley. Driving the ball low in towards the full forward, a full forward. Inside is very well. She's inside to Martin McNicholas. McNicholas has gone flying through the centre again. Oh, he opened up in front of him. Here comes McNicholas. A beautiful great save. Out to the number 12 and he sticks it in the back of the net. Well saved at first from Martin McNicholas. But Jonas McHale was there on hand to get the rebound and stick it in the back of the net. Great work from Martin McNicholas. We opened up in front of him. He saw out so he took a rasping shot which was well saved by Carl Wilson in the goals. But Jonas McHale flying through. And David College Castlebar take the lead. 16 minutes gone in the first half. One goal and three to David College. One goal and two for Lissniski. Kick out again. Bad kick out this time, out the centre of the field, it's caught out there by Welsh. Ray Welsh turns it inside to McNicholas again. McNicholas causing a lot of problems, here he comes, a right footed kick. And McNicholas sticks the ball over the bar. Martin McNicholas, that's three points for McNicholas. Causing some problems now for the list of ski defence. McNicholas again, fielded very well out there in centre forward. And Cassibar have now edged into a two point lead. Switching the Castle Bar team, the number two, Kevin O'Rourke. The number two, Barry Jordan, has moved out to half back line and Melvin Marley has gone in. But here come the Castle Bar man again. The number eight this time is Sean Riley and now they have found the lead and Riley scores another point. They missed some chances early on but they seem to have got found their range now as they go into a three points lead. Can send calls from send calls from Lisnesky respond. Here comes the kick out again, down to the centre of the field again, and of course Riley, but he pushes his man in the back before he gets the ball, and it's a free right on the back to give us his nose. And it's a free from Lisnesky, kicks that ball in. Pushed out and broken out by this castle bar, ball coming more into the game now, a foul there. On the list of ski man, and it's a free for the list of ski on the 50 metre line, 60 metre line. To be taken there by Kevin Maguire, driving inside to the full four corner forward, but Castlebar again, and then hit the hard foul there, straight on. A very hard challenge there from the full forward, Stephen Smith and referee Michael Gibbons. Having a word with them. A rather heavy challenge there on the Castlebar man, Stephen Smith, been spoken to by the referee. Kevin Jennings, he's down on the ground all the time. He ran into a rather heavy challenge there, but it's a free out from Castlebar when play resumes. 
Just over 18 minutes, almost 19 minutes gone in the first half. A goal and five for Castlebar. A goal and two for Lister Ski. Okay, Carrie Jennings is up. He kicks that ball out. Castlebar ready to launch another attack. A long kick down the center of the field. It comes out again. The full forward breaks the ball inside, but is cut by the Lister Ski man. Kicking it over to the side of the field. The number 11 goes up front, but the big turn again. The bigger Castlebar in there on the center of the field. This is Riley. Sean Riley kicking that ball in. But out comes the Lister Ski man. Movement in there. It's a free for Lister Ski. Quickly taken, driving it down towards the Castle Barman, grabs it again at the centre of the field. The Castle Barman this time was Flynn, and Flynn hits it in towards the corner forward, it breaks inside. And out comes Lissinski again to clear the danger, out to the side of the field, hand fisted out, kicked down the long side of the field, but it's Castle Barman now, they seem to be everywhere. The number six, he was on the goal a few minutes ago, Kyle Jennings, drives a right for the shot, down in towards the centre of the field. But the Lister Ski man standing all alone inside, kicks the ball out, not very far, out towards Riley, but it's broken up there by Carol Bradshaw for Lister Ski. Kicks it over to the far side of the field, was standing on the centre of the field, all alone. Harry Flynn. Harry Flynn kicks that ball inside. Caught by the fullback, kicked out again to the side of the field, up they go for it again. Lister Ski ready to charge in again. Ball well caught inside there by the Mr. Schemer. The number 15 is Darren Maguire, still going through. Still Maguire, very beaten to it, very beaten to it there. By Melvin Marley, the ball comes out. The centre forward there, Fred St. Coles, Kevin Maguire, kick, trying to get, break his way through. Still Maguire, on the left foot, kicks a low ball inside, caught inside there again by the number 15. He's trying to break his way through, but he's beaten, robbed and a free out there. Foul, Castlebarn and foul. Thought about taking a quick man, slows it down over to this side of the field. The number 10, the number 10 is Gary Dillon, drives the ball right over the line, and it's a line ball. A line ball for Mr. Ski, right here in front of us. 60 metres out. The Mr. Ski man seemed to be clean through there, but the goalkeeper, Dick and Gannon, made a wonderful save, and the ball goes out for a 45. A 45 that will be taken by Mark Porter. Mark Porter coming up, his left knee bandaged, here he comes. He'll take this one with the right foot. Up he comes, kicks it over towards the far side, but he's caught in the air, dropped and it's caught and sent to the right and sent wide. A let off there for Castlebar. They can take the goalie, Declan Gannon. That wonderful save. The kick out from Mervyn Marley. He started playing right half back, but now he's playing at right corner back. Has been taking the kick outs from the start. Dropping it out, 45 metre line, grabbed out there by Michael Walsh. And Michael Walsh left for the kick out near the sideline, gone very near the sideline, kept in play by Jared McHale. Jared McHale takes the right for the kick into the centre, the full forward, his way out the field. But the ball breaks inside to the number two, Kevin O'Rourke, and Kevin O'Rourke getting the ball out, kicks it over towards the far side of the field, cut out there by Porter. Well caught there by the list of scheme man, but the ball goes out on the line, and it's a line ball. And taken by Frank Scully. Frank Scully kicks it into the centre, into Harry Flynn. Harry Flynn across the field and waiting for the breaks away from him and this the ski, mount another attack. Martin Riley. Martin Riley takes it into the full forward. The full forward is Stephen Smith. Kicked in there, kicked in by Adrian Little. Inside, cars is beautiful to call inside. The number 15, he's on his way through again, takes a shot. And the goal is up for the table and it breaks out. And it's a goal for this the ski. A goal for Lister Ski. The goalkeeper then made a great save and has happened at the other end. The centre forward was going to Kevin McGuire, number 11, and he stuck the ball in the back of the net. A carbon copy of the goal scored at the other end earlier and the teams are level. 23 and a half minutes gone in the first half and all to play for St. Coles from Lister Ski, two goals and two points. St. Davids, or Davids College, Castle Bar will go on five. Here comes the kick out again from Marvin Marley. 
Ardından ve Merli Kiksel Outdoors 51 ile ayrı Stay Love ve Ken Kessler Bayağı Combat Ediyor'un da bu numarası Sıdrı Fiyildi'ye şu an Riley Topsi Bağlı Breaks Inside But it's Wisniewski coming out But it's foul Seem to be foul Yes foul The other one's a free out And free out for Wisniewski Kicked out towards the side of the field But the Kessler Bayağı Man Standing all alone Is the number 9 Harry Flynn Drives the ball inside to the corner forward, the corner forward in number 13 is Alan Dillon. Alan Dillon is breaks the way of the ball. Coming out with Lisnitsky, driving the ball over towards the far side of the field, but the castle by a full back is Kevin Lansborough, and Lansborough has the ball and tries to take a short kick, but he's beaten for this side. Still fighting for the ball, gets that ball out. Out the field is Barry Jordan, Barry Jordan soaring down around the field. Takes a right footed kick right across into the centre, but yes, the castle by man has it inside. He's been fouled and it's a free in for Castlebar. A free in and Martin McNicholas will take this free. He seems to be going to take it from the hand. Left footed kick, taps it over the bar and it's another fine for Martin McNicholas. That's a total of four for him. The foot Castlebar back into a one point lead. Two goals and two, two one goal and six. We have just under five minutes left in the first half. This vocational school is our Ireland final. Here comes Carrie Wilson from Newtown Butler and this is the Toby the far out to the center of the field. Up to go for it again, it's broken down, fouls. The Castle Barman is fouled, it's a very kicked, quickly kicked in towards the full foul. Breaking loose inside, but this is the coming to the ball on the ground and they go for it. Coming out for it here is the number 10, the number 10 is Gary Dillon. Gary Dillon turns around, kicking the ball right across the centre. Nobody there, Lister Ski man, Lister Ski back. Blocked, shot blocked out over the line and it's a line ball for Lister Ski. About 21 metres out. Take it up along the line but the ball goes out, driven out over the line once again. And it's a line ball this time for Castle Bar. Be taken there by the number 8, Sean Riley. Sean Riley kicking the ball in towards the centre, into the centre forward. Beaten toward this time. Ball breaks close inside, cut by the front forward. Left footed shot, looks up at the goal but it goes cut by the goalkeeper inside. Kicking it out, drop kicking it out to this side of the field. Up they go for it again. The, the centre field of Riley goes up for it again. Breaking loose of the ball, left footed kick over towards the far side of the field. Caught in there by the number 12. The number 12 is Jared McHale. McHale takes a kick in towards the hands of the goalie again. And the goalie kicks it out this time to the far side of the field. Up goes Michael Welch. Michael Welch trying to get that ball. But is Lister Ski coming out? The full back is Kevin Ansborough and Kevin Ansborough. The ball hops a big man kicking the ball out to this side of the field. And this helicopter flies round this year once again. Flying around Dugan Park here. Maybe they're watching this all out in colleges. Location schools for Paul Vino. The number 14 has it inside. Here come Casabar on the attack once again. The ball is caught inside by the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper kicking it out to the field. Casabar still trying to get another score to get them with this foul. Uh, Listen, ski free out. Here comes the free once again, driven down the full forward. He's out at center field. A kick there by the Lister Ski man and he breaks through 60 metres out kicking a shot on inside. Here come Lister Ski on the attack once again. The number 15 is Darren Maguire. Darren Maguire fists the ball inside. But it's under cover there by Michael Walsh. Michael Walsh trying to get that ball out. Here comes Walsh. Slips and falls but the ball comes out standing all alone. It's the Lister Ski man. Swallowing up to the centre. Kicking the ball high to the left and looking, going out to the left and gone wide. A waste of chance from Lister Ski. Almost 28, two minutes, just over two minutes left in this second half, in this first half. Two goals and two points. So one goal. And six. Player injured out there in the centre of the field, the referee has held up player, one of the business key players down in the centre of the field, they're injured. Receiving attention there. I didn't see what happened to him, seemed to be injured there, but the ball had gone up to the other end of the field. Coming near the end of this first half, a beautiful sunny day here in Dublin Park and Banlaslow. Mr. Ski enters out there on the floor, he's okay, he's up again. It's the number 14, the full forward, Stephen Smith. Having to come out a long way from, he has changed positions. He seems to be out the number six, the central man that played started at centre back is Darren Collins. 
He's gone in full fire, which is a sub. The number 14 has gone off the St. Cole's team. And coming out here is number 16, Thomas McElroy. Thomas McElroy has gone in at corner back. Now the switch is around in the St. Cole's team. As we wait to kick out once again. Melvin Marley. Melvin Marley. Melvin Marley kicking the ball out again. For Castle Bar, driving it out towards the 45 minute line. Broken out there, the center of the field. Sean Riley, Sean Riley, Sean Riley. Being pulled when he gets his shot kick in. Kicking it down towards the corner and it's well caught in there by the number 13. The number 13 is Alan Dillon, but he's beaten to it. Ball comes up to the side of the field, kicked out over the line, and it's a line ball. It's a line ball for Lissinski. And the halfway line as we approach half time, kicked in towards the corner forward. Well caught in there again by the number 15. The number 15 is down the wire, hand passes it inside to the number 6. Out it comes, out the field. And kick in, lands into the hands of the goalkeeper from Adrian Little. And here comes the goalie, help pissed it out. Bringing it slowly out of the fence of Cassie Barr. Soloing out the field, and this is number 5 is the man that kicks the pick out in Marley. And here comes McNicholas, McNicholas way out the field, soloing in towards the centre, still McNicholas, toward a hand, McNicholas still going through, he's 40 yards out, 30 yards out, still going through, McNicholas on the 21 metre line, takes a rasping shot, and blocked there by this ski player, got out for a 45. Martin McNicholas took a rasping shot there from about 20 metres out, deflected out over the line, and it's a 45. As we've gone over the 30 minutes, we've had a uh, few injuries. The referee will probably add on a minute or two as we take this 45. Out towards the centre field, and centre field is Riley. Inside to the number 13 is Dylan Allen. Dylan trying to get that ball and has that ball. He's on the ground. He hand passes it outside to Gary Dylan. The shot there, and it's gone to the left again and gone wide. But Dylan's there on the right hand side of the attack. Gary and Allen combining there before the ball went eventually out on the end line and right. Carrie Wilson once again to take the bug out is Michael Gibbons. You see going to call half time. Yes, that's it, that's the half time here in Duggan Park and Banlaslow. So in Coles College, this is key, two goals and two. Dammit College, Castlebar, one goal and six. One point lead there for Castlebar. And four teams lead the field. A very good, exciting game. Okay, we're about ready to start the second half of this vocational school's football final here in Ballinasloe and everything's still to play for. Half-time score, David College, Castle Bar, one goal and six. St. Coles and Mr. Ski, two goals and two. Referee Michael Gibbons out there in the centre of the field, getting the players to move back and see ready to start the second half. There it goes again, the straight away at St. Coles into the attack. The number eight going through there is Matt Porter. Matt Porter driving the ball in, but it's well cut in there by Kevin Ansborough. Kevin Ansborough kicks the ball over towards the far side of the field. Going across there is Gary Dillon. Yeah. To still Dillon trying to get that ball off. The corner back to Barry Jordan. Barry Jordan. The red haired Jordan still coming to passes the ball back. Castle Bell coming out, driving the ball over towards the side of the field. Well, it's cut there by the centre field. The centre field is Sean Riley. Sean Riley. Trying to get that ball away, trying to get away, but Riley kicks that ball inside. It's gathered up there by the list of ski man and kicked down, starting another attack. Out to the list of ski centre forward, the centre forward there is Kevin Maguire. Kevin Maguire is, kicks the ball in, but the full back is fouled, takes the ball quickly over towards the far side of the field, over towards Harry Flynn. Harry Flynn coming out of the ball. Flynn kicking the ball down to the centre forward. The centre forward is Martin McNicholas. Martin McNicholas, he had a good first half. And he's beaten to this one. Showed too much of it to Darren Collins. And Collins gets the ball and clears it down into the corner forward. The corner forward 
the number 15 have a good first half fists up all over towards the far side of the field but it's knocked out of his hand cut there by the Castle Barman still trying to get back their way to a high kick and it's gone to the left and gone wide quite a lot of ball in that first half went left and wide down at that town goal still the side breeze here in the second half favouring the team from Lisnesky and County Farmana as we wait for the kick out again from Melvin Marley, Melvin Marley. Tripping it out, dropping it out to this 50 meter line. Grabbed there by the listener ski man, soloing through, since soloing through, going towards goal, still on his way in, but he's held up, tries to turn around, knocks too much out of it, picks it off the ground, says referee Michael Gibbons, and it's a free out, a free out for Castle Bar. Quickly taken out towards the far side of the field, going out for goal is the number nine, Harry Flynn. Harry Flynn kicking that ball in towards Mac Nicholas, the centre forward. Mac Nicholas grabs this one and gets around his man. He's been pulled, tugged, but the referee gives him the advantage. Hand pass it out to the side of the field. Here come Castlebar on the attack once again, driving it up in towards the corner forward. It breaks loose inside, but going back there together is Stephen Maguire. And Stephen Maguire fists it across, cut by the number 14, Ray Welch. Ray Welch turns his man, right for the kick, and it's gone to the left and gone wide. Both teams, I must say, guilty of some wasted chances during the course of this game. Kick out again, Carrie Wilson. Take this three. kick out. Three. 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 That's grand, thanks a lot. That's grand, lovely. Lads, can you return? Grand. Give me that piece. Carrie Wilson. Maybe he'll take the kick out again. Left foot dropping it out on the 45 meter line. Oh, they go for it. Breaks loose, but it's the cast of Mac Nicholas. Mac Nicholas having a good game. Mac Nicholas still going through. Been a foul there by two listed ski players and he gets his free in. He's about 30 metres out. Takes it quickly, but it's too quick. This is the referee, not from the right place. Calls him back to take this free once again. Martin McNicholas going to take it this time from the ground, leaving it down. He's roughly 30 yards out from the listed ski ball. Going to take this one left for it. He has scored five points already for David College Castlebar. Up he comes and sends it, goes, cut there by the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper drives it over towards the far side of the field. The goalkeeper breaks loose but it's the, it's the scheme and again taking it out, driving it way down the field. Forwards way out the field. Not too many of the listener scheme on his side, gathering inside now, but it goes inside, cut inside there by the castle bar number four. This Scully, the Scully drives it down towards McKee, Charles McKee, Charles McKee drops the ball, gets it up again. Still Charles McKee, trying to get it out, gets it out towards Harry Flynn. Harry Flynn, soaring across the field. Still Flynn, drops the ball, gets it up again, hand passes it back to Michael Welch. Had Michael Welch driving it down and is cut there by the centre field. And the centre field, and the number nine, is Mark Porter, drives it in towards the far side. Cut there by the Castle Bar man, the man on the ground, listen to ski player on the ground as the ball came out there from, Dar from Carol Jennings. The referee calling for attention by the listen to ski man, doesn't seem to be too badly injured, he's up on his feet again, this is the number 16, the man that came in as a sub, Tomas McElroy. Big attendance there by the listen to ski mentor. Almost five minutes gone in the second half. Still no score in the second half. 2-2 two, two, to 1-6. McElroy still being attended, but he's okay. Getting a bit of spray there. Referee Michael Gibbons over there. Is he going to throw in the spot? Now he's going to have it up it goes. Breaks inside, the listener ski man going forward, picks it up, tries to get it up, going across there, making life to go with Jordan, Barry Jordan, and Barry Jordan comes out and kicks the ball down along in towards the corner, in towards Dylan. Dylan breaks inside, Alan Dylan on his own, a clear run for goal, here comes Alan Dylan, still solo, being caught with every side, hits it in towards Ray Welch, Ray Welch coming out to make a better angle for himself, fists it across to the number 10, Gary Dillon, Gary Dillon over on the side of the field now, turns round inside to get that ball on the right foot, hand passes it back to the number 8, the number 8 is Sean Riley, Sean Riley swinging around, gets the right footed kick high in towards the goal, going, hits the post, comes out and looking to escape there, ball hit off the upper end and it's cleared out to the far side of the field, well, Listnerski launch another attack. 
Breaking inside is the number six there. The number six is Carol Jennings. And he kicks it across, kicking it over towards the side of the field, over towards McHale. Breaks inside and towards the corner forward. Matthew Conroy getting the ball up, but he's fouled. Sean Riley takes a quick free, trying to get inside in towards Ray Walsh. Still Ray Walsh along the ground. Here comes Ray Walsh, still going towards goal. Soccer side picks the ball up, fists it across the far side of the field. And a great right save, a great right save again by the goalie. And eventually the ball is fisted by Carl Wilson. Comes to the rescue of Mr. Ski once again with a magnificent save. Goal written all over that shot, but wonderful save there from Carrie Wilson giving this to Ski in this game. Still no score in the second half of this game. A sub on the Castle Bar team, the number 15 there. The number 15 is Matthew Conroy, he's been called ashore. Matthew Conroy and being replaced by the number 20, and the number 20 is Conrad Leiden from Ballantrubber. Moving in at corner forward, Conrad Leiden. Two subs marking one another, the number 16 and the number 20. Up goes the ball, breaks again to Harry Flynn, still Harry Flynn. Trying to get that ball so but he shows too much and he took a list of ski back line and it's cleared way down the field. A big gap here. And this is ski has the ball very well caught down inside there to Brendan McBine. McBine soloing through. Two called McBine. Trying to get it around his man. Takes a left handed shot and it goes to the left and goes by well. Brendan McBine. The half forward line from Mr. Ski playing very far out the field, leaving a lot of space inside. As the number five again, Melvin Marley goes back to take the kick out once again for Dammit College in Castlebar. Here comes Marley kicking it into the wind. All up again at the centre of the field, and this is well cut there by Kevin Maguire. There's Maguire bursting through, trying to get that ball, but it's a breaks the cross over towards the far side of the field. Going across where there is Brian McBride, Brendan McBride. Brendan McBride, Mark Porter fighting for it over there, the ball on the ground, still coming out, and it's the, the number 11, tears the ball up into the corner. Tussling and pulling her up here, the ball breaks loose to the full forward, the full forward is Ray Welch. She's out a long way from goal. Ray Welch is tripped and it's a free from the 60 meter line. 60 meters out, Ray Welch is out playing full forward, he's a long way out from goal. Going across to take the free is Harry Flynn. Harry Flynn kicking that ball, dropping in inside to Martin McNicholas. McNicholas on the ground, he's up again, he has that ball, still has the ball. Being tugged and pulled and getting the ball across. Going over again, it's Castlebar still on the attack, over on the far side of the field, but beaten up there, broken up there by the Listerski player. He's fouled, there's a free out for Listerski, he wants to take a quick one. Urgency coming into the Listerski player, driving it down into the corner. And to the number 15, kicks that ball right across the centre, but it's well right there by the fullback. And the big man comes out, his shot is half blocked down. Ball breaking loose into the centre of the field, pushed on the back there, Sean Riley, and it's a free for Lister Ski. Riley to take it himself right for it, dropping it in towards the centre forward, the centre forward, Martin McNicholas. Here comes McNicholas, trying to get through, pushed and pulled, and he still has the ball, a free in for McNicholas, kicking it inside. There's another chance for Cathy Barr coming through, the number 14, just punches it across to the Dylan, number 13, Dylan takes a shot, and it's on the ball! Adam Dillon gets that point for David College and Castle the number 13. Good work there from Martin McNicholas once again. Having a great game at centre forward for Castle Bar. One goal in seven to two goals in two. That's the first score of the second half and we have already just over ten minutes gone. The first half the first score for Davids. Kick out again. Not a very long one, dropping out, caught there at the single field by the number nine, Carol Batcha. It's punched across, but here comes Cassie Bear on the attack once again. It's that man, McNicholas again. McNicholas gone through. Here's McNicholas still trolling through, round his men, walking through the defence as if they're one there, and it seems a follow the bar. The fifth pint for Martin McNicholas to put it two pints lead. He walks through the list of ski defence that time and stuck that ball over the bar. One goal and eight to two goals and two. A goal between the teams. Kick out again, a shot kick out once again, but kick out not going very far at all. 
the number nine is Riley. Or Finn kicking that ball inside. Trying to get up here, he comes again. McDick is going for the centre, he's pulling his tongue, then eventually kicks the ball. The referee seemed to give him the advantage, he was pulled as he went through there, brought to the ground, he's still on the ground inside as this is coming through with an attack. McDick is still on the ground inside as Castlebar trying to get the ball, the number seven. But it's cleared out over the line and it's a line ball for Castlebar. Kick in there for Melvin Marley. Marley kicks it into McNichols and throws McNichols once again, but the ball breaks. And it's kicked out the field, driving him there down the field. But it's the centre back going back for there, Jennings. Jennings is pushed out of for free for Castle Bar in the lower half of the field. And Carrie Jennings and Carrie Jennings kicking that ball. And here comes McNichols again. He's fully recovered. He's Having a great game, drives that ball inside. He's on the ground once again. The ball breaks back inside. Carry all day. Not to make as I see him down on the ground here in front of us. As the ball goes out on the line, over on the far side of the field. McNichols is on the ground here on the 45 meter line. A line ball on the far side for Castlebar. Centre forward McNicholas, he's having a great game for Castlebar. Causes pandemonium in the listener ski defence every time he gets that ball. He's now down. Still being attended to here as referee Michael Givens goes over towards the far side of the field. When player resumes, it will be a line ball for Castlebar. McNicholas will be a huge loss to Castlebar if he were to go off at this stage. But I think he'll be okay. He's about to get up again. Still being attended to out there, McNicholas, as we wait for this line ball for Castle Bar over on the far side of the field. But McNicholas is okay. He's ready to take his place once again. Line ball over on the far side for Castle Bar. In the own half of the field. Nicholas now has gone in playing, he's gone in changed, he's gone in playing full forward. A lot of pulling and dragging on there on the far side of the field as the ball goes out over the line. It's a line bar for Lisnitsky. Kicked down inside there, but it's cut beautifully cut there by the number nine Bradshaw. Bradshaw trying to break through his foul there, it's a free. Bradshaw kicks the ball, you into the full forward. Out again to Bradshaw, takes a long high kick. And a great point from out the field for Bradshaw, Carl Bradshaw. The number nine for Listerski. And that leaves two points between the teams again. Mm. Martin McNicholas and Ray Welch have switched positions on the Castle Bar team. McNicholas now playing at centre forward. With Ray Welch at full but centre forward. As we wait to kick out again, this time from Melvin Marley wants to out to the centre. Coming out to this side of the field, going out for there is Michael Watch. Michael Watch has the ball. This shot is blocked down. Going out to the sideline, very near the sideline, kept in play. And it's Watch again. Watch has that ball. His pull as the ball comes, kicks it high in the air. It's still near the sideline. It's punched out over the line. And it's a line ball for Castlebar. Up the centre is cut there by the centre field. Sean Riley, Sean Riley holds on that ball too long. And it's a free for Mr. Ski. Out near the sideline, number eight, very anxious there to get that ball. Matt Porter kicks a high ball in. Very high ball going out near the end line. Got across near the end line, got over the end line, and it's wide. Kind of a wasted shot there from the number eight. Took it too quickly. Not too accurately, it got out to the right and wide. Just two points between the teams. One goal and eight. Took two goals and three. As we're into the last quarter, just over 15 minutes gone in this All Ireland Junior Vocational Schools final. And I see now that Martin McNichols has resumed his place at centre forward once again, and Ray Walsh has gone back to the full forward position. Now Ben Marley again to take the kick out. Into the breeze, dropping it out on the centre of the field. It's punched down there, but it's the Castle Bearman kicking it out. 
Cut there by the listener ski number two. The number two is Kevin O'Rourke driving it in. And here comes Stephen Maguire. Stephen Maguire hand passed it inside. The corner back. That very number two gets the ball inside. It's broken down inside and it's kicked while kicking in there. But it's Castlebar who tied it up. And out comes Marley kicking that ball out. Caught beautifully out there again by O'Rourke. And high kick, well blocked down. Gone across to the far side of the field. Listener ski again about to launch another attack, but it's broken up inside. And here comes. Barry Jordan, Barry Jordan over on the far side of the field, hand passes it out to Harry Flynn, Harry Flynn slowing, slowing it down, driving it into the full forward way watch. But it breaks inside to Dylan and across the centre of Sean Riley racing through the centre. It's opened up in front of him. This could be a danger. Sean Riley coming through. Can he do something with this one? He takes a shot. Oh, what a miss. What a miss from Riley. He had the goal open in front of him. The goalie came out to meet him and he sent the ball wide. A terrible miss from Riley. That could have sold up this All Ireland final. The play opened up in front of him. He got right through, but he sent the ball crashing into the side netting. A let off from this Nisky. Can they capitalise on this? Can they get out to the other end and get a score? Up the ball breaks loose again. Round the centre of the front, 45 metres out. Castlebarman trying to get through his tugged and pulled and it's a free for Castlebar. Martin McNicholas with the ball to steady things down once again. He's about 40 metres out from the list of ski goal, taking this one left footed from the ground. Two points between the teams as McNicholas steps back. He's kicking it into Oliver Breeze is here and here he comes, takes that shot, that beautiful shot and it's gone over the bar, a lovely find from Martin McNicholas. That puts three between them again as the kick out comes from Carly Wilson. 2-3 to 1-9, out again to the 45 meter lines. It's the ski man all alone there, Kevin O'Rourke. Kevin O'Rourke has moved out to centre back, kicking it over towards the far side of the field. It breaks behind and out comes uh, Carol Jennings. Carol Jennings kicking that ball down at the far side, but it goes out near the side. They got over the line and it's a line ball for Lister Ski. Bit of urgency coming into the Lister Ski team player now. They want to play this ball in quickly. They have to get their scores back. They're three points behind as they launch another attack across to the side of the field. Out they come for it, breaking inside, the ball breaks inside, but here comes the Castle Barman coming across, but gets that ball up off the ground. The number seven is Michael Walsh, and he drives it across into the centre. It's caught by the list of ski men. He's taking his shot, it's the number six, and it's over the bar. It's a point for, for Darren Collins. That puts just two points again between the teams. Two goals and four to one goal and nine. And we have 11 minutes left in the second half. And this is our Ireland vocational school's junior football final. Being played here in Dublin Park, Ballinasloe. Kick out again from Mervyn Marley. Mervyn Marley driving out towards the centre of the field. Up he goes for it again is Sean Riley. Sean Riley soloing so Here comes Riley kicking that ball into the centre in towards the full forward. The full forward is Raywatch. Raywatch kicking the ball inside out near the sideline. Going across for there is Jared McHale. McHale trying to get that ball up. McHale has the ball up. Man inside him loose. Gets season moving. Puts it inside. And here he comes the number 20. Still going through and he will lose the ball out to the right and by Carl Lyon, the man that came in as a sub. The man that came in as a sub, he will lose that one over to the right hand side. Ten minutes. Just ten minutes to go. Two points between the teams. As Carl Wilson, the man from Newtown Butler driving the ball out to the 45 metre line. Mark McNicholas goes up for it again. Here comes McNicholas trying to get that ball away. Fists it out to Marley. Marley hand passes it across to Flynn. Harry Flynn goes across to Jordan. Barry Jordan, he started at number two. He's up in attack now. Going across near the far side of the field. Alan Dillon going for it out near the end line and got over the end line and gone wide. Wouldn't have the field nearly completely empty. All the, play, all the players inside the 60 metre line. There are just two forwards inside for David College at this stage. As the ball comes out to the centre of the field, out to Harry Flynn. Harry Flynn across to McNicholas. Here's McNicholas again, trying to get around this man. Still McNicholas kicking that ball right footed. Left footed across the goal and it's gone wide. 
as I say, most of the play up on the Lisniski end of the field. 50 yards of open space in front of the other goal. Just two players inside. As the kick out comes again to the 45 meter line, up it comes, it breaks inside, and here comes Lisniski. A goal drives this ball down, but there's nobody there, it goes inside. And out comes the list of scheme, uh, the number seven, Michael Welch, Michael Welch, kicking that ball around the goal. Gathering up there is Scully, Frank Scully, back again to Michael Welch. And Michael Welch, left for a kick, out near the line, coming out here very near the sideline, kept in play by the list of scheme, this shoulder down over the line, and it's a line ball, kicked fairly fast, but it breaks inside to the list of scheme and again, and it's cleared way down the field, another attack for list of scheme. Can they get that goal and put it back in this game? Here they come, the number 10, the number 10, is Brendan McBrine, McBrine takes a shot, goes to the left and goes wide. They can't afford to have wide at this stage. They're two points behind and there's just eight minutes left. Eight minutes left in the game and two points between the teams. Two goals and four to one goal and nine. Kick out again from Melvin Marley. Hands and hips behind the goal, up he comes to take the kick out. Into the breeze, having it out on the 45 meter line, and up goes the man from the Siski, kicking that ball again, driving it in and driving it back into the left hand side of the goal and wide again. Both sides guilty of many missed chances here in this All Ireland vocational school junior football final. As Marley lines up again to take the puck out. Seven minutes to go. Game by no means over yet, just two points between the teams, and here comes Bali. Position vital for any team in this stage, and it's punched down again, but it's cut there by Harry Flynn. Harry Flynn across to Mac Nicholas, and Mac Nicholas slips his man again, and here he comes, kicking it inside, well bred into Riley, and here comes Riley, the man from Park, Sean Riley, still going through, hand passes it inside. Caught inside by the number 14, he was looking at goal, I forgot about the man coming behind him and it breaks inside to Dillon. Gary Dillon kicked inside again to Mac Nicholas, Mac Nicholas along the ground, kicking that ball and it's picked up again by the Listerski man and gathered up and going down the field, hops in behind everybody, caught inside by you, you know, over across towards the far side of the field, got out of the line and it's a line ball, Listerski. Quick, quickly taken right into the centre. Ball hops inside, and here comes Mr. Ski on the run, the number 13, the number 13 inside, out comes the goalie, and fists it out, danger inside, the ball is in the ground, trying to get the ball out the goal! A goal for Mr. Ski, and that puts them back in the lead. I'm not quite sure who got that ball, over on the far side of the field. The goalkeeper came for it, missed the ball, the ball broke loose, and eventually it finished up in the net. That's three goals and four, to one goal and nine. And now Lisniski, yeah, it's I think the number 15, Darren Maguire, would have scored that goal. And, it's this one. And, it's this one. and now Ken Castlebar come back. Here they come towards the center of the field. Sean Riley busting through. Here comes Riley. A great run from Riley. The ball is on the ground. This still is pulled, is tugged. And the referee gives the free from the 45 meter line. They're out here in the center of the field, injured. The number eight Mark Porter from Listerski, another player on number five down with Cramp, Stephen Maguire. Then we sit down and we got relaxed with it. Five minutes, five minutes to go in the game. Stephen Maguire seems to have cramp He's being attended right here by the mentors as we wait for Martin McNicholas to take this free from 45 metres. Just inside the 45 metre line. He kicks it short into Riley. He turns it around, he's trying to get around his man. He takes the shot, but it goes out to the left and goes wide. Four and a half minutes to go. Two goals and four for Listerski. One goal and nine for Davis. That's one point in the difference. Just one point between the teams. As Carrie Wilson comes to take the kick out once again. Here comes the kick. Driving the ball out to the 45 metre line. Up they go for it. Breaks out of the... Biffy Man's hand is caught again by Sean Riley. 
Riley trying to get through the ball breaks loose out there on the side of the field and here come Listenski about to launch another attack the ball hops inside the number 15 he's going through again Went down on Maguire here comes Maguire he takes a shot it's over the ball over the point for Darren Maguire the number 15 and that puts two points between the teams 26 and a half minutes gone, that's three and a half minutes to go. One goal and nine for three goals and five. Two points, two points between the teams in favour of St. Coles and Mr. Skew. Here comes the kick out again from Norman Marley. Norman Marley co-standing there, taking the shot, driving it out to the centre of the field. Up they go for Mac Nicholas is fouled, he's on the ground. We need a big finish from Mac Nicholas, he kicks that ball quickly inside. Standing waiting for the other spin, but it's taken away from Listerski. Off the ground and it's a free, a free for Harry Flynn. Harry Flynn kicking that ball inside. They need nothing less than a goal at this stage. A big Listerski man foul inside on the 30 metre line and it's a free out. Coming near the end of the game, three minutes, just under three minutes to go. Three goals in five for St. Coles, one goal in nine for Dammit College and Castlebar. Halfway out from Listus for Listuski on the 30 metre line. Brendan Fitzpatrick from Listuski and as he's about to take it from the hand right for it to drive it down over the far side of the field. Caught again and here comes Listuski about to launch another attack. The fullback comes out, it breaks the ball but it's off the ground again. Lana picking the ball off the ground. That's here they come. Here comes uh, Riley, Sean Riley, driving the ball in towards the, the sub. He's pulled. He's fouled. It goes on towards the far side of the field. Alan Dillon. Alan Dillon out near the sideline. Here comes Dillon. Looks around. Tries to get around his man. He's knocked. He's fouled. Oh, it's a free. 14 metre line. A free from Dillon. Kicks it out quickly to Harry Flynn. Harry Flynn dropping it across the centre. It's into the square and man in the square. And it's a free out for Listerski. Back to the goalie to take it. Under two minutes to go. The referee being uh, the goalkeeper. No hurry in taking this free out. And why should he be two points ahead in an all in final and less than two minutes to go. Still taking his time. Out comes the kick, dropping it out to the centre of the field, up goes then, breaks loose, driving it down towards the far side of the field is Maguire, over there across again is Darren Maguire, Darren Maguire drops it inside, caught inside by the forward, here he goes, and here comes Mr. Ski, is this going to be the insurance point, he's inside, he takes a shot and it's over the bar, oh yes, son of a pine for Mr. Ski, and that puts him three points ahead. A great finish from St. Coles in this Nisky. That point was scored by Darren Collins. We're in the last minute of this All Ireland final. Three goals in six to one goal and nine. The ball kicked out again to the centre of the field. A beautiful catch, well fielded there by the Nisky man. Breaks loose and here comes Barry Jordan. And Barry Jordan is fouled and it's a free, kicking it up to the far into the full foul rear watch. Rear watch. This could be the last attack, the first McNicholas is far, falls as he comes out, and the ball is cleared out the field. And here comes Mr. Ski again, the number 15. The number 15 is Maguire, kicking it inside, and here comes Maguire, and this is it, the insurance. No, it goes wide, goes to the right and goes wide. I make it just 30 minutes gone. And the time being played now is at the discretion of the referee. It's just over the 30 minutes as the kick out comes again from Melvin Marley. Here comes Melvin Marley out. It's caught there by Michael Walsh. Not much time left of the block down there by the Mr. Ski man as the ball breaks across. And here they are, they're soloing around. They're in no hurry. Drops it in towards the goalie. The goalie catches it inside. He tries to get out and he kicks it over towards the far side of the field. Over there is Barry Jordan. But it's caught by the Mr. Ski man. And here it comes again. The kick from the Mr. Ski man goes to the left and goes wide. A quick kick out again from Castlebar. Almost 31 minutes gone. I'd say this full time whistle could go any moment. And here it comes out in the center of the field. It's caught again by Castlebar. Is there one last chance left in them? The ball breaks loose. Here it comes the full forward, but he leaves it behind them and 
This must be looking sharp at this stage. And there it is, the game is over. Three goals and six to one goal and nine. Three goals and six to one goal and nine. A great win for some calls from Castle from Listener School. Yeah. <laughs> 